Today we're going to continue looking at feminist theory and in particular we're going to look at materialist feminism that was described last time by Nancy Hartsock. And we're going to look in particular at how her theory of materialist feminist might be applied in thinking about everyday sites of socialization. Nancy Hartsock was interested in the question of how do material conditions structure gender relations. Chris Ingraham is interested in the social arrangements and institutions of capitalist patriarchy that distribute power and resources unequally according to gender, race, class, and sexuality. According to Chris Ingraham, materialist feminism helps us to reveal the ways in which ruling class ideologies are inscribed in subjectivities, such as being a bride, being a wife, being a mother, or in institutional arrangements such as marriage, as well as in cultural narratives such as films, magazines, television, and ads. Let's begin by talking about weddings and marriage culture. What are the meaning-making processes embedded within wedding and marriage culture? Ingram talks about the wedding ideological complex. These are sites in American popular culture, such as children's toys, bridal magazines, television shows, etc., that work as an ensemble in creating many taken-for-granted beliefs, values, and assumptions about weddings. There are a plethora of television shows talking and dealing with weddings, and examples, some examples of these are Bridezilla's, My Big Redneck Wedding, Platinum Weddings, Rich Bride, Poor Bride, Whose Wedding Is It Anyway, Wedding SOS, Engaged and Underage, I Propose, Till Death, Get Married, 100 Hours to Wed, Wedding Day, and Saying Yes to the Dress. And this is only a sampling of a constantly evolving set of television shows and only those that, do, do real, that deal directly with marriage and not those that indirectly will include marriage as part of its storyline. Let's take a look at some images. Images of brides convey notions of what our society sees as beauty. As you can see from these images, what counts as beautiful is white, fair, thin, and female. White women are the classic brides. These and other images serve as socializing mechanisms. Little girls are taught from early childhood to plan for, quote, the happiest day of their lives. Barbie dolls are one example of these kind of socializing mechanisms. Take a look at this image of the Barbie bride. The caption reads, Barbie doll is dressed for her fantasy wedding day and comes with a ring for the girl to wear too. One other example of these kinds of socializing mechanisms is Halloween costumes, where bride costumes for little girls are very popular. 